Well, good morning on day six. I am on my way out of Lordsburg, back on trail after a nice night in a bed and getting all my town chores done yesterday afternoon. Some of the other people I've been hiking around are taking their time a little more this morning, getting out of town. I still, I didn't make it out that early. It's 8.45 right now. Um, but I don't know, right now I'm feeling good, feeling like I wanna be walking and so I'm gonna take advantage of that feeling because I know later I will just wanna lay in town or lay around in town and eat breakfast and all that good stuff. So but I'm gonna get back out there. Uh, I think this section is gonna have a lot of road walking on it um, between here and Silver City. There's a there's a controlled burn going on, which is affecting the trail. So the reroute around that I think is some dirt roads. So I don't know, see what we find. Well, 45 miles if I stayed on the road. On trail, and based on what it said in Go Hook, I was planning for about 74 miles. Um, but I don't know, with this reroute, uh, I was hearing people are actually getting there sooner, so we'll see. Well, I was doing my road walk out of town here, and someone just pulled over and gave me this, so that was pretty cool. Water is supposed to be pretty scarce in this section and I think this is a lot of what between here and Silver City might look like but uh if that keeps happening um I think I'll be just fine looks like we're leaving the road for the trail I don't see a gate so looks like I'll be crawling under oh man this kind of stuff is better off night hiked Lunch time. This cheese is still cold, and I'm very excited about that. Well, if I was to plan this section again, I would do it as a night hike. Because it's just, it's very open and very exposed. Not that a lot of the trail hasn't been that way, but it's a longer water carry. Here I am in the middle of the day, and there's no, it's not like there's like a nice spot to like wait out the middle of the day and then hike again later right like I could just sit in the sun but that's not really that much better than just walking in the sun so yeah you live you learn well you can see Lordsburg off right over there so that means I started somewhere back there I'm a lot closer to these hills than I was before, so slog through the midday sun is getting me somewhere. Looks like this pipe actually has some water in it. See, there's some very thirsty bees. 100 miles! Whoop whoop! 15 miles in, and this is the first water that I was going to rely on today. Although I did find a little bit um, before now, but finally water and finally some shade. Well, I guess we have to share. <laughs> oh, he flew back in the water. Right, we don't know what this is. Killer wasp is our best guess. Wasp of death. <laughs> Well, that water source was a nice stop, as in there was shade, and I met some new hikers and stuff, and so it was fun to hang out there for a bit. The water was a bit of a disappointment. It actually, like, the cows came and, like, drank the rest of it while we were there, and so there's pretty much nothing left now. I managed to get a little bit of it, but it was already pretty gross because it was close to the bottom of the barrel. So, fortunately, I always accidentally carry too much water, and so I still have... A couple liters of good water and then another liter of emergency gross water <laughs> um, and then the water situation from here is honestly uncertain there might be some cached eight miles from here there might not and then after that it's pretty blurry so mm, I don't know I don't know so my plan right now is to hike a little further tonight probably not too much um, but now that it's cooler, it's nicer walking. And then uh, probably get up early and try and take advantage of some more cooler hours. Um, especially if the water situation is gonna be a bit like unknown because you just 
we don't drink as much when it's not as hot. So that's the plan. And it's 100 miles again. I guess sometimes it's hard to pinpoint the exact location, but I can celebrate again. Woohoo! Morning on day seven. I didn't get up as early as I planned. Either the alarm didn't go off or I slept through it, but oh well. Sleep is important too, and it is nice and cool out right now, which is nice. Um, now that I'm up in these hills, the landscape has changed a bit, um, and it's pretty, and I'm enjoying the scenery. Oh boy, first climb. I'm so happy there are trees. I just had a really wonderful trail magic experience at the Burrow Mountain Trailhead. Um, there were several different angels that showed up. Um, so there were soda and snacks and fresh fruit and um, someone else brought donuts. Like it was really neat. Just I probably hung out there for like four hours and not just for the snacks, but just because it was like a nice place to spend sort of the hotter part of the day. Um, but one of the cool things that happened, one of the guys who showed up and brought like some sodas is actually someone that I finished the PCT with. Like we finished right around the same time we were at the, there was a picture of us together at the monument and we didn't know each other. Um, it's cause a lot of the people that I finished with were not people that I had been hiking around. Somehow I ended up in a group that I didn't really know. Um, but he was one of them. And so we started talking and realized that we had this common experience and it was really really cool so um so always big thanks to all the angels that come out and i don't know just make our lives a little more beautiful than they already are um so that was a really good way to spend the middle part of the day now i'm started up on probably one of the first like real big er climbs that certainly that we've had so far um and uh there's been some, I've had to kind of make decisions about what to do about this fire closure. Fire closure is only like four miles long, but it messes up the way around it. And then the water situation on the different alternates has been uncertain. And you end up doing a lot of road walking. So ultimately what I've decided to do is kind of a hybrid where I'm going to climb this mountain and then hopefully get to Burrow Mountain Homestead which is about a mile off trail, but there will be water and a place to camp. And that's what I'm aiming for for tonight. I've got probably another eight miles or so until I get there. And then from there, it'll kind of be a road walk into Silver City tomorrow. So I'm actually getting to Silver City like a day before I planned. Like I, so I have way more food than I need, but with the closure and the concerns over water, I don't know, this feels like a nice kind of solution where I still get to do some trail, but then also get into town and not run out of water and stuff like that. So, heard this is supposed to actually be a pretty, pretty, pretty climb. And uh, so, we'll find out. Well, that was a long and not insignificant climb to the top of Burrow Peak. Um, I just started my way down. The peak is kind of in the trees, so there's not much to to show you. Um, but I checked the topo map, and uh, it looks like that peak is a little over 8,000 feet. So I don't know exactly what I started at, but I, I know that's a lot higher than I was hiking at. So. Uh, woohoo! First big climb. Done.
Good morning on day eight. I stayed at Burrow Mountain Homestead last night. It was a bit of a push to get there. I didn't get until close to dark and I was definitely hurting by the time that I did get there, but I'm glad that I did. Um, the hike up and over Burrow Peak was was pretty and definitely a change in scenery from what we've had, you know, getting into that high um, like mountain desert feel. It was, it was, it was actually quite nice. Um, and then the people at Burrow Mountain Homestead are so sweet. I, I didn't know exactly what that place was going to be. What it appears to be is kind of like an RV park, but just like a more permanent setup. Um, and yeah, like they're just, you know, kind enough to let us camp there, use their facilities, restrooms, get water, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, just a really pleasant experience. Yesterday was a really good day. Um, and then today I am basically on a 19-ish mile road walk into Silver City. Um, I'm on a dirt road now that I had to kind of bushwhack, bushwhack my way to. There's probably an easier way to get here. But I do not always find or choose the easiest way to do things. <laughs> um, but in any case, I made it to this road. As far as I can tell, uh, it should take me all the way to Highway 90. And then I'll follow Highway 90 into Silver City. So kind of a long day road walking ahead. But it ends with uh, Triple Crown Hostel in Silver City. At least that's the plan. Well, made it this far, and now it'll be Highway 90 all the way to Silver City. This is a curious driveway decoration. People are wonderful. Road. Road. Burrito place. Road, road, road. Making progress. Still more road. I'm so close, but my feet hurt so much. So one final break here on the side of the road before I do the last mile and a half. Yay, I have. Finally arrived.